بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ہاؤ آر یو آل مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس کانگریٹس ٹو آل آف یو آن یور سکسیس اینڈ پروموشن ٹو دا نیکسٹ کلاس می یو آل ڈو ویل ان یور نیو کلاس آئی ایم یور سائنس ٹیچر اینڈ لیٹ می انٹروڈیوس دا نیو سائنس بک ٹو یو آئی ہوپ آل آف یو ہیو بوٹ یور بکس دس از آکسفورڈ سیکنڈری سائنس لیول ٹو بائی ٹیری جیننگس لیٹ سی دا کورس کنٹینٹ فار دا میڈ ٹرم This is your course content. It includes five chapters. Two chapters from the biology portion and one chapter each from chemistry and physics section. The chapters are as follows. Chapter number one, the digestive system. Chapter number five, reproduction in plants. Chapter number eight, atoms. And chapter number 13, circuits and electric currents. Let's start our new book. Open your books on page 2. Chapter number 1, The Digestive System. Dear students, this chapter, The Digestive System, it belongs to the branch of science that is called biology. I hope you know the definition of biology, that biology is the branch of science which deals with the study of life, that is of animals and plants. My first topic is about food. What is food? Anything which we eat throughout our day is known as food. The question arises, why do we need food? We need food because it provides energy. Dear students, a machine will not work without any fuel. The fuel supplies the energy to make the machine go. Like all machines, the human body requires a constant supply of fuel and materials for repairs. The fuel for the human body is food. Food supplies energies and all the chemicals needed for growth. It means that food provides body building materials and it keeps the body working properly by enabling to happen the chemical reactions. Food is not of one type. It contains a number of components in it which are known as the nutrients. The components of the food are as follows. Carbohydrates, fats, proteins, minerals, vitamins, water and fibers. Now I'll teach you each component in detail. First comes the carbohydrates. Carbohydrates supply energy. They include sugar, of which there are a number of types, and starches also. Carbohydrates release energy when they are used up in the cells. Carbohydrates are present in the rice, potatoes, flowers, etc. Fats, another component of the food. Fats are also energy producer. They provide twice the amount of energy as the same quantity of carbohydrates. A thin layer of fat under your body or under your skin, it acts as an insulator and keeps the body warm. Dear students, too much fatty food is not healthy and does not make the body look good. Fats are present in ghee, oil, butter, eggs, seeds, etc. Proteins, another component of the food. They are needed to build our body tissues when they are growing. It means they help in the growth. They are also used to repair damaged tissues. If you cut yourself, new skin is made from the proteins. So proteins are very much important. They are present in the meat, meat of the fish, meat of the chicken, meat of the buffalo, mutton, etc., eggs, pulses. Minerals, another important con- component of the food, but they are required in small quantity. The human body needs a wide range of minerals. For example, calcium is very important for the growth of bones and teeth. The hemoglobin in the red blood cells, it contains iron, which is one of the 
important mineral. Where can we find the minerals? They are present in the nuts, dairy products, fruits, vegetables, etc. Vitamins, one of the organic compounds. They are also required in tiny amounts. They improve our health. They save us from different diseases. If we do not take vitamins, different type of di diseases may occur in our body. They are present in all the fruits, vegetables, meat, etc. If we are not taking fruits and vegetables, there will be lack of vitamins and maybe most probably we will become ill and such type of illness is known as deficiency diseases. Fibers, another component of food, they have the characteristic that they do not digest at all. It is mainly the cellulose of the walls of the cells. They are also known as roughage. Fibers or roughage, they help to retain water keeping the feces soft. It also gives the intestinal muscles something to push on and to keep the food moving through the system. So it means that they are helpful in the process of digestion. They are present in the salads and different kinds of fruits and vegetables. Although they are not digested, but they are still very much important in our diet. Water. It is very important component of our body because major part of our body, major portion of our body is made up of water. About 80% of the cell structure is made up of water. It is essential for most of the life processes or body function. It helps our body to absorb nutrients from the food. We can take water in the form of fresh water, milk, tea, fruits, vegetables, etc. Dear students, in short, carbo carbohydrates, fats and proteins, they are the energy producers. Minerals and vitamins, they are the life lengthening components. Water is important because it is one of a part of our body. Fibers do not digest, but still they are important because they help in the digestion of food. So, for better working of our body, all these nutrients must be present in our daily life. Dear students, now I am going to show you some components of the food and their examples. This is rice. It has carbohydrates in it and lots of fiber also. These are pulses. It includes proteins. Milk is considered to be a balanced diet because it consists of almost all the components of food like vitamins, minerals, water and proteins, fats, etc. Oats, it's a good source of fiber and it is also a good source of carbohydrates. Fruits, they are a good source of vitamins and minerals. Banana contains phosphorus. Lemon contains vitamin C. Carrots, a good source of vitamin A. It is also very good for your eyesight. Cream, a good source of fats. Egg, a good source of proteins. Cucumber, it is a very good source of water as well as of fibers. So dear students, you have learned that we should take all the components of the food in sufficient amount to keep yourself healthy. I hope you have understood the topic of the food and its component. That's all for today. Until then, Allah Hafiz.